Tom, Tom, I want you to listen to me. Really listen to me and don't interrupt me. Don't talk over me because every time I try and say something, try and tell you something, you start talking over me or you argue with the first thing that I have to say and so I don't even get a chance to say the second. I guess it's like if you didn't hear me say it, then I haven't said it. But if you say just one word, anything, I'm out of here. Out of your life forever. I know you'll miss me. I've got enough pride left in me to know that. But you have done your very best to destroy me. And you criticise every single aspect of me. And from my hair, clothes, hobbies, job, even my degree. You do it in front of your friends, in front of my friends, and every time I get upset, you just say, oh, for God's sake, Rebecca, can't you even take a joke? And then you make comments about how oversensitive I am and, and that I'm no fun. Well, of course I'm no bloody fun, you... You bastard. And you have wrung every single drop of fun out of me and... You have trampled over my heart time and time again and... Look at me, here without a tissue. <laughs> Two years of being called Snot Rag Girl did that for me and... I used to always carry tissues with me, but then when you start going on about it... You're probably thinking, like, what's she going on about? Why is she talking like this? Well, I'll tell you why. I've seen through you. I've seen through your tough guy act. Underneath, you were just this weak, scared, Pathetic little boy. You know, when I said that, I'll leave you, even if you just said one word. Well, I'm leaving you anyway. And you'll never even get to say your bit. How does it feel to lose your voice? Does it scare you? I hope so.